for your bench base, we're gonna use a four by four. These are pressure treated and it's gonna be a little cheaper than just a regular one, but they can cut them to size for you, whatever you need. Just gotta make sure you ask. You wanna grab a board for your bench and I'm getting a two by 12. You can get a thinner one, but I like the wider board and it's only 10 bucks. We're gonna get these seven inch tie plates. This is what they look like, but this will help us secure our pieces of wood together for the bench. For your screws, any old construction screw will do, but um, unfortunately for me, they're out. So I'm gonna go with just these two inch exterior screws. They're just a dollar more, but same thing. So here's what everything looks like all cut down. I've got my braces, my screws, and then I've got my vertical post that's gonna be cut at 10 and a half inches. I've got the base right here, which is gonna be cut at uh, 14 and a half inches. And then my top is cut at 40. And then the bench top right there is gonna be cut at 50 inches. I'll show you how to assemble that. All right, I got my bench legs set up here and I centered these up before, but this we're gonna take this uh, tie plate and we're gonna tie these together. Now we're gonna uh, bend these in a 90 degree angle. This is where we get a chance to see if you really have been working out. So you'll get, I don't know if you can see, there's a bunch of little holes. So we're gonna go right here on the middle ones, but I'm just gonna bend it over here. You gotta really put some force. I'm joking. They bend really easy. So bend it right there about 90 degrees, and then we can set it in here, and that'll be our brace. We'll do one on each side. All right, now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one screw and I'm gonna drive it in down here. And then the other one, I'm gonna drive into here just to secure it in place, and then we'll get all the other ones in. I'm gonna do it left-handed here. All right, so we got our legs finished, and now I've just got this top piece set on there, but I'm gonna stack it on top, and you don't need to bend these now. We can just put these tie plates right here on the side, and I'm just, I'm gonna do three sides. That might be a little overkill, but I don't want it going anywhere. So, here we go. got all my braces on now we got a good solid bench base the last step is just going to be to center our bench top we will use the last of our braces and we'll fold them over again and we'll just attach them on the other underside I'm going to do one, uh, two on each side so four total to attach the top again might be overkill but I'd rather have it hold and break while I'm using it. Now I almost made a mistake. I've got two inch nails and the top of this is only an inch and a half. So if I would have driven that all the way down, I would have been laying on my own bed of spikes. So uh, make sure you get smaller, uh, by inch and a quarter screws. Now is the last.
last screw. So now, flip it over, and you got your bench. One little thing you could also, instead of using these brackets, you could screw it straight in, which is fine. But um, unless you are going to cover it, or if you have a countersink or something like that, um, those screws they, they could just they could poke you, you know, the uh, while you're benching. So um, that's why I chose to keep going with the braces. They're easy. We've already used them. Um, but yeah, bench is done.